Hello YouTube, it's Saturday afternoon, it's the 24th of February. Popped out this morning, thought a little bit of shopping, see how it goes. Went, I uh, thought if we go to sh um, town, might try to trade in a few bits at CEX. Went and did that. Came away with quite a few pickups, so I thought I'd take a little time to show you these ready for uh, my J's on Monday in my new competition. So, I'll just take you through what I picked up. Um, there's going to be three extra... Uh, slip covers to go into the list as well, so I'll do those at the end. But first one I picked up, Legion. So I've got all three now, so I will actually bother to watch these. So I've been waiting to get pick up and pick that one up. Sorry, a bit of a mess on this deck. One that I've never seen ever, but everyone knows it. Blade Runner. Now this is the uh, final cut, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Final cut. Anyone give me any ideas what it's like? Is it good? That's supposed to be uber amazing, isn't it, really? But, God, there's so much crap on this desk from my daughter. Let me just move that, move that, and now we're set. Oh, next I picked up The Boy. Um, There's a film called Orphan that my daughter really likes. It's like a weird, schlocky horror. And I've heard good things about this, so... It's like weird, but... Next one, this is the new artwork, this is why I picked it up, I didn't like the original. Finally got hold of Braveheart. Now this is one that I've got a slip cover to go with as well, so slip cover of Braveheart is now added to the list. My mate Anthony has given me a few films, um, he recommended Dead Snow 1 and 2, so I finally picked up number 1 Ant. So I will be watching that under your recommendation, so if I think it's crap I'll give, have to give you a slap. We'll see. Next. The Departed, this is a brilliant, brilliant film. I don't know why it wasn't in my collection. I saw it on TV, got me at least two years ago, and the end of it's just like, whoa. Brilliant film. Now, please don't judge. Yeah, it's got to be in your collection, hasn't it, really? But probably won't be watching it myself, you know what I mean? Next, Dodgeball. This is funny. It cost me a couple of quid. I just, I just love it. It's a really funny film. Um, I recommend it to anybody, basically. Oh, it's just all dirty humour. Uh, next is Gone Girl. Now, the, I, the, I don't like the packaging on this one. You can see it's like, it's got like a book in there as well. Every time I found this, the book's been missing. So it's all squidgy. It's all squidgy. Like, but it's nice cardboard. It's very heavy. It doesn't actually fit into my normal... Uh, plastic cases so uh, I'll have to see if I can get a bigger bigger version of the case really. Right, there's no one's still gonna fall over on me now. Come here. Oh god the mess. All I ask is for things to be tidy. Next, another classic. I'll pick up some like classics today. Heat. I still can't believe I didn't have this in my collection either, but it's just getting around to it and not wanting to pay too much. So well happy with that one. Everything here just wants to fall over. Now, in the post today, I was so hoping that Thor Ragnarok was going to turn up from Zavi, but it looks like it's going to be Monday, because the only thing I've got in the post, Hotel Transylvania 2 Steelbook. As you can see, beautiful Steelbook. A goopy guy on the back. And that's one of those Momo X pickups I told you from eBay, so well happy with that. Number one is still on the way, so that means I will have one 3D steelbook, two 3D steelbook, four of them. This is one, it's called K20, The Legend of the Black Mask. It was a quid, it looks bloody stupid. Let me know if anyone's seen it, but I thought for a pound I'll give it a go. What a laugh. I've got all the Resident Evils bar the final chapter, because I don't want to pay too much for it. Um, I'll probably, before I get to my R's in my collection rundown, I probably would have bought it by then. But this went with it, so Resident Evil Re Degeneration. Let me know what you think of this, guys, because I haven't seen it. And if I'm not mistaken, this has a slip cover, which is a closed slip cover. So, again, that's in the list. Anyone wants it, it's yours. Another one that has been too expensive to pick up, but I do like this film, Scrooge with Bill Murray. I wanted to watch it at Christmas, but it was still £6, £7. I just thought, no, it's not worth that. I don't know why. Um, another classic, I love Signs, 
but it's another one I've just never really had time to pick up. Or I haven't, it actually, it's, it's quite rare out there, really, second hand. You don't find many copies of it. So I'm really glad I got him now. This next one, I've got number three, and Anthony gave me the animated one. So now I have the original Starship Troopers. This is one of the first Blu rays that came out in this country, but it's so rare out there, second hand now. I'm just glad I got it. Brilliant film. I've been meaning to pick up Sunshine for a long time. The visuals are quite good in this film. I, I caught like 20 minutes of it on TV, and it's kind of weird, but this is one that I've really wanted to get. So I'll be looking forward to watching the whole thing on that one. Second to last, we're looking at a classic here Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, the Gene Wilder one. I love this one. I mean, Johnny Depp's good, but nothing beats the original, in my opinion. And then an obscure one. When I went through, I always go through the internet listings for CX before I think I'm going to one of their stores. And this wasn't in there, so it must have got traded in about half an hour before I came in. White men can't jump with the J slip. Still book. Five quid. Now, how can I let that go? In immaculate condition. Now, anyone who is. Uh, listen to a lot of my videos I've been trying to get a hold of the descent and at least twice I've gone in and they've had the disc but not that someone's nicked the cover today they had descent still book I went in there it looked like somebody had let Mike Tyson have a go at the bloody thing it was dented to shit so yet again I've been thwarted about getting the first descent film kind of depressing but you know we'll see so uh, that's all the pickups I've got for today so not a bad haul I would say Quite happy with that, with that especially though. Know, so we're looking at slip covers. You're looking at Allegiant. You're looking at the new artwork version of Braveheart, which I think is much better than the original, and the Resident Evil Degeneration. Now there are a couple that I've got downstairs that I forgot about. You know the Batman anthology, um, the four f original films. I have the slip cover for that, so um, that's one as well, which I haven't put on any video yet. But if that's something anyone wants. You know what to do. But anyone who's still looking for slip covers, go through my old videos and just send me a message on Facebook. We'll see what's there. Bear in mind, guys, I might. Actually, it's going to have to be Monday, but I'll, I'll let you know what the prize will be. And I'm going to be setting up the prize draw for a five to seven day window. You'll have to watch the video to get all the dates and stuff. But I will then pull. I'll get my daughter or my other half to pull her name out of the hat for who's the winner. And I think that's a much fairer way. Um, Nothing against the people that have had the videos already, but one guy's had three because he well he watches my videos and he watches them first, so all the best to him. Um, <clears throat> I've got nothing against the guy. We, we we chatted for loads, you know, but the fact that he's had three, it makes it a bit unfair for everybody else. So this way, everyone will have the same amount of chance. I'm glad he likes his films. I've got nothing against it at all. He, he, uh, we had a real good chat, so I really re appreciate his support. This way, everyone's got a chance, and I will make it a weekly thing. It's, this is not going to just be based now on me cocking up and buying twice, because that's my original thought process on this. If I cock up, you guys benefit, but I'm going to have to do it as a weekly giveaway. All right? So on the first day, I'll say what it is. On the seventh day, I'll do the draw. And at the end of that draw, I'll tell you what the next one will be. And I think it's a nice little thing to be able to give back to people who, one, will help support me, Subscribe, spread the word, tell your mates, tell them to tune in, and we'll see if we can save people money. Uh, one of the people that watches me is giving me a real good list of stuff to find for them, so I'll be getting into that this weekend and seeing if anything's positive. He wants me to find them all the Star Wars steel books. Now that's a challenge because you're looking at 18 to 24 quid a piece there, but if I can find them any cheaper, I'll try to for them. But nobody's going to want to give them up, really, are they? So we'll see. Um, enjoy your rest of your weekend, guys. It's bloody freezing here. And I've got a feeling one of my neighbours might have passed away this morning. So, so we've had an ambulance out here twice. So, you know, my prayers are with them. Hopefully not, hopefully they're okay. But I'm not going to go knock a door and ask, are you? So, you know, I just hope they're okay. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. And I might try to get another video out tomorrow. It depends. But I definitely will be screaming and shouting in a video before Ragnarok turns up. Enjoy the rest of your day.